We took a step back in our last game, but we are still top 500 and we're going to keep on going. And one thing to remember is that there is ladder decay that is also going to drop our rating. So if we want to get to number one, we have to do it fast. Otherwise, we'll keep decaying too much. Okay, so a good lead matchup. Sludge Wave. I am choice specs. That is really good. How's my team looking? Ninjask is kind of good. Lati is good. Honestly, all my Pokemon are really good. There's no, like, obvious Dynamax candidate, but they're all really good Pokemon. So I can consider Volt switching. Do they have a ground type? Say they have a ground type, then I have a kind of easy switch into Ludicolo. So I am going to Volt switch. They do have a ground type. I do have my switch to Ludicolo. Do these run Toxic? Ranbats, Quagsire. They can have Toxic. And the issue right now is switching out is such an obvious play. They're going to Toxic here. So let's just go to Sloking on a Toxic or a Scald even. There's no way they Earthquake. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, right? So now we have to make a decision. Do we go Ludicolo on the Earthquake or do we just Future Sight? I think we can go here. If he Toxics again, that's just a really good play. Yeah, okay, good. Now we kind of force it out and we have found out that he does have a Ground type. So let's go Toxtricity on this Shinotic here. Or the Weezing Galar, that's good too. We can throw off a Sludge Wave, we can throw off a Boom Burst. All, both are pretty attractive options right now. Um, We can try a Boom Burst, it's going to be doing a lot of damage. 72. What is Pain Split? That's not good enough. Yeah, now we have another hit, hopefully. Okay, let's think. If they have a Ghost type, I'm kind of screwed. I don't really have a good Ghost type switch in. I guess I do have Entei, which, which has natural bulk to switch into Ghost types. I'm going to risk it. If they have a Ghost type, they have a Ghost type. Reggie Draco, that's going to take a lot of damage. On the crit, unfortunate. I have no fairy type. I feel like I just go for the speed tie, right? Or no, I definitely don't do that. And the reason I don't go for a speed tie is if you think about it, Toxtricity outspeeds all of his team and it has a choice specs. So I don't think I want to go for a tie, do I? Let's go to Entei. Entei is walled by Quagsire anyway, so I can use it more defensively than offensively. We'll go to Entei here. Outrage. Do we outspeed naturally? We do outspeed naturally. I just want to calc. Do I have to risk a Stone Edge miss? Or can I knock out with Extreme Speed or Flare Blitz or something? Reggie, Draco. Then Entei. I don't... Okay. So I do have a choice ban. I don't want to make that mistake again. Extreme Speed is 28 to 31. I... Flare Blitz 31. I think I have to go for a Stone Edge. Okay. Okay, that kind of sucked. I feel like I was well, okay. Maybe I could have gone for a flare blitz, but even that doesn't always KO, right? So whatever. We did lose Entei. The, the, the thing is, Entei um was walled by Quagsire anyway. It would have been a good defensive switch into Shinotic though. That was one thing. We do have two poison types. We can go Sloking Galar pretty free. If he uses Spore, he uses Spore. Leech Seed. Okay. Now we can Sludge Bomb, we can go for a Poison, or we can Future Sight. Uh, this outspeeds, so it could Spore right now as well. If it does that, I'm fine. But I think you do go Quagsire here, maybe? Yeah, you do Spore. Let's see if we can wake up on time. You Leech Seed, I don't know if that's the right play. Big risk by Leech Seeding there. Okay, we woke up, we got a Future Sight up. This Curum is extremely threatening. In fact, it is very threatening. Let's Sludge Bomb. Yeah, on the Substitute. Okay. There we go. Ayo, this is this is definitely tricky. This is definitely tricky. Ninjas doesn't have Infiltrator. Hmm. So we're probably going to have to win the game with Latios, right? Let's run the Calcs on Sloking Galar versus Kyurem. Kyurem. Okay, there we go. Right? So... Earth Power would be doing 38 to 35, I mean 45, and Ice Beam would be doing similar. So we can actually try and win 1v1. Okay, 30. Give me a poison, please, I need the poison. Unfortunate. Let's go Lottie here. I think either you Earth Power or you Roost, right? I don't think you would Ice Beam into a death, hopefully. If he makes a... Okay, good, good, good. I was scared he was going to make a play. Now the question is, do we predict? Uh, we have to see, is it worth predicting, right? So Shinodic versus Lottie. 
if Psyshock gets a 2 hit KO, it's worth predicting. It does get a 2 hit Oh no. We are Life Orb. Don't trick me. I have like PTSD from this stuff. Okay. Mystical Fire. On the Shinodic. Let's go. Please? 60. Nice, nice, nice. Now we can Psyshock, I believe. We can Psyshock, yeah. Psyshock would do more damage to uh, Quag than Mystical Fire. There we go. Now drop that Draco. If you go to Shinodic, I don't care. I can keep Psyshocking again. So I think Lottie's in a good position now. Lottie is definitely in a good position. Um, we do have to start thinking about uh, Dynamax options now. I feel like defensive Dynamax from Curum is a possibility, so I really have to be careful about that uh, situation. What is my last Pokemon? Oh, that's a, that's you do not want to do that. Yeah, really bad sack. I think you needed Curum because now everything is outsped by my Toxtricity. We'll see though. Does he have a setup sweeper? Even if he does have a setup sweeper. Okay, this is tricky. This is tricky. Do we... Okay, first of all, is it Choice Scarf? Cartana. Do we Defensive Dynamax to remove Cartana? It doesn't have Choice Scarf, right? That means we outspeed naturally. So we can Mystical Fire? Look at that damage, 300%. Even if it's Dyn... That, this, is a, this is definitely a mistake, right? The Calc says it doesn't have Choice Scarf, right? I don't think that saves you, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now Ludicolo probably wins too. I don't think Dynamaxing there was the right play, was it? Why didn't this? Oh, I had, I was I'm at, I'm at minus two. I, I didn't notice that, but still. Yeah, I don't think. I guess he didn't have an option. He was going to lose to Lottie, so this makes sense. In hindsight, I could have probably preserved Lottie, but I think this is fine. Because Toxtricity wins the game. Ludicolo wins too. I think if I Dynamax Ludicolo, I win as well. So, yeah, I think this game is wrapped up, I think. Uh, we can Acrobatic right? It does more damage in case he goes to Quag or something. He might try to preserve Cartana here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he is trying to preserve Cartana. Shinodic. Oh, he gets the Effect Spore. Okay, the good thing is Cartana will faint. Uh, we don't need Ninjask anymore. So, oh, does it get Synthesis? No, right? Okay. And it faints too. Okay. Yeah, so this is fine. Yeah, I think we win with Ludicolo. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Uh, let's just throw off a Boom Burst. I'm, I I'm kind of want to see how much this does. But we do win with Ludicolo, I think. Yeah, we definitely win with Ludicolo. 73. Yeah. And yeah, okay, so we start off strong, we move up 20 points, not a lot actually, I expected a little more. We're at 2076, that'll push us up to, how much does it push us up to? It pushes up to top 407, okay. Lunatone, Lunatone's kind of trash, but at least it's a good matchup versus Cryogonal. Sticky Webs is always valuable, this could have Rapid Spin I believe, right? I, I know it gets it, I don't know if it runs it though. Cryogonal, it does get Rapid Spin, okay. Um, it doesn't have anything that can touch a steel type. Let's just Oh no 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 no. Do you I don't think this ever uses freeze dry, right? So if you were to switch into a Lunatone, you probably go to a steel type, right? Does that mean I go extra drill and then Bisharp? But I'll reveal a lot of my team if I do that. I'll just go Bisharp, safe play. If he goes to a steel type, he goes to a steel type. Yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. Free knockoff. Knockoff is so good in random battles because you're always guaranteed to do something good, even if they have a fighting type or something. Pre Marina. Ooh. No choice scarf. We outspeed naturally. How much does Iron Head do for future reference? Pre Marina. What am I doing? Bisharp. Um, oh, it has Dynamax on. Whoops. So it does do around 45. Um. So the knockoff itself did a lot of damage. I'll put Life Orb on it. So Iron does Iron Head does 50. Okay, that's good to know. Do I go to Galvantula now on a water move? Ooh, Articuno Galar is a really good Dynamax candidate because of Calm Mind plus Z flying, or what a uh, Dynamax flying. I think I just go to Maractus here, don't I? On a water absorb. I think I go to Maractus. Okay. Free Toxic, I believe. 
Uh, if you have a skill type, I think you would have gone to it versus Lunatone. So I don't think you have a skill type. Is that, is that a good estimation? I don't think so. It's not an amazing estimation. Maybe he just wanted to go offensive pre-marina. But... I don't know, what am I saying? He went Primarina versus Bisharp. So yeah, we don't know if he has a Steel type or not. Yeah, ignore everything I said. We don't know if he has a Steel type or not. We'll see if Toxic will end up doing something good here. Uh, Yeah, we can Leech Seed as well, but I feel like Toxic is more permanent. It's a trade-off. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure. Is Toxic better or Leech Seed better? I think Toxic is better. Okay. Oh, it has... No, okay, anyways, it had a uh, uh, Pastel Veil. So we do have Bisharp. Let's run the move check on this, because I don't know. Rapid Dash. Galar. So it does have moves that can be threatening to my team. 225. 224, unfortunately, Lunatone. Uh, let's just get a Leech Seed first. Okay. Yeah, that's not a lot. That's really weak, in fact. Okay, that's good. That's good. Should we energy ball? If this has morning sun, energy ball isn't an, isn't an amazing idea. We can go to Bisharp, right? I think you would sword stance or you would switch out. Um. And uh, so far, uh, just thinking ahead, three Pokemon weak to Extragill. That's good to know. And three, uh, is it slower? Cragonal is faster than Extragill. But yeah, three Pokemon weak to Extragill is very good to know. Uh, in particular, Bisharp could be a match winner. So maybe I don't go Bisharp here. Maybe do I go to Exodrill here? It is Life Orb. So, Play Rough, then Headbutt, Sword Stance, Morning Sun, or it could have High Horsepower. I think Exodrill could be a good idea. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Freeze Dry won't be doing enough damage, so Iron Head will be really strong here. Yeah. And maybe I just have a really good matchup advantage. Two Steel types versus a team really weak to Steel. That could be a possibility. This might not even have Swords Dance. Ooh, that is not a good trade, is it? I don't... Okay, I guess, in like, from his point of view, Cryogonal was anyways walled by Bisharp. It would be doing literally nothing. So trading Cryogonal for 30, 437% could be a good idea from his point of view. So it's not a bad play to sacrifice. Uh, we'll see what he goes to now. He does have Garchomp. Okay, so I do have to be careful about how I deal with Garchomp here. So I have Levitate with Moonblast. I can Defensive Dynamax Articuno at some point. I do have Bug Buzz Galvantula. Uh, Ranbat's Garchomp just to make sure I know what moves it can have. It can have a lot of different moves, okay. The thing is, I don't have a Fairy type, so even baiting it to Outrage isn't great. Does that, does that mean I should Defensive Dynamax here? Um... Yeah, baiting it? Oh, Garchomp is a major threat. I think if I can defensive Dynamax to stop Garchomp, I should do it because of how powerful it is versus my team. Although it's worth noting that Articuno Galar does outspeed it. So I could go to Lunatone first, even if he uses Swords Dance and knocks me out. At least he's locked into Outrage and then I can, you know, force him to Dynamax maybe. A very tricky, very tricky. Or I could just say, hey, I have another Steel type in the back. I'm okay with uh, getting damage in exchange for preventing you from Swords Dancing. If you knock me out with Earthquake, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna make that play. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Because I got the chip I needed. 48. Could be Life Orb. I mean, could be uh, Life Yeah, definitely. Could be Life Orb. Lunatone is kind of trash. We will sacrifice it. Goodbye, Lunatone. It doesn't get Scale Shot, right? Yeah, it doesn't get Scale Shot. So, that's fine too. Lunatone, Earthquake, Outrage coming in probably, okay. What what item is that? Uh, do I know the item? Garchomp, it's not a self -est. it's Lumberry. It's Lumberry, okay. Do I Defensive Dynamax here? I think I, I think I go for the Articuno Dynamax here. I think I go for it. Critical hit is nice. I don't know if I killed without it or not. But Articuno is strong. I don't know if I killed without it, though. Now you probably... Okay, so that was worth it. I think getting rid of Garchomp was worth it in exchange for Lunatone. I think it was worth it. Um, Did that KO? I think I have time to calc it. Articuno, Gal whoops. Articuno Galar versus Garchomp. If I was Dynamaxed. 
I did 38 to 46, so that crit did matter, unfortunately. We'll throw off our Psychic here, okay? Hydro Pump, don't care. Airstream, okay? Okay. So we got two kills for the Dynamax. You go to Mr. Mime Galar. Do I win if I call mine? Um, I have time, I have time, I have time. Mr. Mime Galar. On Dynamax. Free Stride doing 50. So if I calm mind, I do beat it, right? Okay. Nasty plot. Expected. We do have... Ooh! I have to stall out Sucker. Bec I mean, I have to stall out Psychic Terrain for Sucker Punch. I have to keep that in mind. I do have Spiky Shield Maractus that can do it. So, okay, fine. This is going to Defensive Dynamax, isn't it? I think I Air Slash and go for the Flinch. Yeah, exactly. It's going Offensive Dynamax, rather. Okay, Flinch. Flinch? No flinch. Okay. We... Ooh, but he can also Psychic Dynamax too. And we used our Dynamax up too early. That's a problem. Um, Galvantula? No way, right? Let's go to Maractus and let Spiky Shield. Right? Right? I think that's a good idea. Ooh, does he have Focus Blast, though? That's the real problem if he does. Yeah, that Mr. Mime Galar in the back. Maybe I was too hasty with the Articuno because I didn't know two of his Pokemon before I Dynamaxed. Yeah, we'll have to Spiky Shield. I don't even know if we live the hit. Okay, do we live? Okay, we live. Okay, that's good. So... Oh, is he going to Psychic Dynamax here? Should I go Bisharp? That's such a hardcore play to go Bisharp on a Psychic Dynamax. I think it's worth it, though. Right? I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to stop. There we go. Yeah. And that was really important because we needed to stop Psychic Terrain from going up because Psychic Terrain blocks Sucker Punch. Okay. Now we have to win the mind game here, but that was really, really clutch. Okay. That really worked out. Now we have it. We can win. Sucker Punch will be doing a lot of damage here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sucker, Sucker Punch will be doing a lot of damage here. Ooh, it doesn't knock it out, though. Doesn't knock it out. Use a Focus Blast. 220. Oh, Galvantula outspeeds, though. Clutch Galvantula. We can bug buzz here. Okay, that really worked out. We were so close to losing that game, but that one switch, Bisharp on the Psychic. Okay, that really worked out. Now bug buzz outspeeds here. And yeah. And I think we should be doing good, right? We should be doing good. We don't know the last Pokemon, but with an Extra Drill a Galvantula and a, Mar a Maractus kind of trash, but these two, I feel like we can take on whatever they have in the back. This is probably Play Rough, High Horsepower, Zen Headbutt, and Morning Sun. Doesn't have Swords Dance, I don't think, but based on the way he tried to play it. Oh, does it have Soundproof? Okay, that was weird. I thought it had Soundproof. Oh, that Special Drop could be really important. Exploud, Galvantula, Special Defense, minus one Thunder knocks you out. No! Oh no, we have compound ice too! Oh no! Oh, what's the point of compound ice if that's gonna happen? Okay, 162. Um, Extra Drill doesn't KO on its own, I don't think. We'll have to rapid spin at some point, I think. Oh, what was the point of compound ice if you're gonna miss anyway? We might have to dodge a focus blast, I think. We'll have to dodge a Focus Blast. He goes to Mr. Mime Galar. Uh, Toxic, I guess. We have to dodge a Focus Blast here. That's what we have to do. We have to manifest our energy into dodging. Oh, he doesn't go for it! Choke! That's a choke for sure, right? Right? And I, we ha I don't know if the KOs are not, but we have to go for it. It does! Okay, we win! We win, we win, we win! Wow! Now we're at 2095. 2095, where does that put us? 2095 puts us at top 350 right now. Top 350. Wow, that was a crazy game at the end. And I'm going to wrap this episode up here at 2095. We won two games in a row. We continue our trek. We're at 2100. And we are only 350 points away from the top. If you like more of this content, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching.